Hey Yu has used the Heavenly Tao Talisman, together with her Heavenly Tao Scripture to control the common people, and is merging together with the Heaven Tao for the first time. The three prefectures are already under her full control. Of course, Hei Yu is still pretty weak right now, even in the deity realm, she won't be able to completely control the powers of the Heaven's Tao, and would also be unable to exhibit its full potential. Hei Yu is preparing to head towards the central region, I can make use of her Heaven Tao powers in my future plan. Hey, you should have a method to make the Heaven Tao penetrate into the central region faster. Although I am not sure of Hey Yu's exact arrangements, these aren't important as long as the Heaven Tao can expand faster. But Hey Yu didn't immediately kill off these deity realm warriors. It's not as simple as that. The other seven prefectures in the Chaos region are all a bit abnormal. The Heavenly Law has tangled up with some of the fates of races. For those confused sometimes, there is region which is the main place, and prefectures which is within those regions. The few bits of heavenly law that manage to penetrate in, they seem to be gathering momentum and waiting for an opportunity to quickly devour a part of its heavenly law. As expected from a disciple that I look highly upon, if Hei Yu's method is successful, the speed at which the heaven Tao devours the other prefectures of the chaos region will be greatly increased. Maybe I should improve the foundations of Hei Yu so that she can improve her cultivation quicker and be able to fight against Ji Shin Sin. I cannot allow Ji Shin Sin to be the overall winner in the fight for fortune during this great tribulation. I will warn you once more, do not be ruined by greed and send yourselves to death. Who are you trying to scare? We have so many deity realm warriors here, even if you are above the deity realm, we are not afraid. Since that's the case, then die. What kind of lightning are these? Why did lightning suddenly descend? Is this the heavenly law's lightning? Ignorant greed will eventually take your lives. This is heaven's punishment. Even the heavens can't stand looking at you all and wants to punish you. Spare me. I know my mistake. As expected, when deity realm warriors die, the fortune belonging to their race will be seized and transferred to the other seven prefectures. To put it more accurately, they are returning back to the seven prefectures. Just a tiny bit of disorder was enough for the penetrated heavenly law to quickly devour and expand itself. It's such a pity, all these deity realm warriors, if they were transformed into the ghost race they would be able to strengthen the ghost race quickly, and also the ghost Tao and ghost world as well. With this group of deity realm warriors, most of them are from other races, after transforming to becoming part of the ghost race, it will also increase the different species of ghosts, as the number of species increases the ghost Tao will also improve which is a good thing. I don't need a complete soul, just a broken piece of it will be enough. After being cleansed in the Yellow River, they will transform into a ghost race. The ghost Tao is just in time to be connected to the Heaven Tao of the Chaos Region's three prefectures. Now it will be able to welcome the broken souls into the ghost world, modify some of their memories, but maintaining the memories of their previous species identity and cultivation. The broken souls of those dead deity realm warriors, after transforming into the ghost race, their fortune will be severed, so there will be no influence on the penetration of the heaven Tao. These broken souls that transformed into the ghost race, will quickly regain their deity realm cultivation and become an expert of the ghost race. In this way, the ghost race will become more powerful, then they will be more confident running around in the nine regions and it will be easier for them to fight for the fortune in the Great Tribulation and quickly rise up. Did the Master make a move? This feeling after killing so many deity realm warriors in one go, isn't this bad? But it can't be right, Master isn't the kind of merciful and indecisive person. The Master must want to transform those deity realm broken souls into the ghost race to increase their strength. Heavenly Punishment? Why did Heavenly Punishment descend? Luckily, we were slow and didn't charge into it. Could it be, because she killed the blood fiends and obtained great fortune, the crowd then surrounding her caused the heavenly punishment? The legend says that a heavenly punishment is the descent of heavenly thunder, killing the punished. Another legend also says that someone who survived a heavenly punishment will become a child of fate, a peerless expert in the future. I will run first, I haven't lived long enough yet. Run run. Although I knew she was hiding her hand, I did not expect it to be so horrifying, instantly killing numerous deity realm experts. Heavenly Punishment? The legendary Heavenly Punishment? 
She may be the only female disciple under Sir, but when it comes to killing people, she doesn't even blink. Before going to the central region, return first. Yes, master. With Heyu's arrangements, I no longer have to worry about this place. I wonder how the other's plans are going. The little evil king in the chaos region has also become renowned and is quickly rising up. But with the evil cultivators gone, and the great evil palace dissolved, he can only focus on raising his cultivation. It's still possible to find a treasure medicine that can recover his fifth limb if we look for it. Du Yuan is also in the chaos region and his strength is increasing quickly. He managed to get some fortune during this Dao Yuan Great Tribulation, although it's not comparable to Ding Yu and the others, but compared to the other experts, it can be considered to be quite a huge profit for him. The entire central region is under attack from a great wave of blood fiends, if not for the central region being powerful, it would have fallen long ago. Qian Ming has already risen up by killing the blood fiends in the Qian Prefecture, even the heavenly realm blood fiends aren't a match for him. The blood fiends has descended, the skies are dyed with blood, the heavenly laws are also changing, it's getting harder for the heavens Dao Law to devour them, it seems to be affected by something unknown, it should be related to the Dao Yuan Great Tribulation. The ghost race is also active within the central region, many of the surviving souls of experts chose to transform into the ghost race. A talented human when I was born, a heroic ghost when I die. Even as a ghost, we will fight for the humans. A hero when I was alive. A heroic ghost now I am dead. This battle is an opportunity for the ghost race. The ghost world has expanded. The ghost Dao is improving. The ghost king's strength is also improving. Feng Kong, Wang Luo and Xiang Xing are working together to settle the problem of the ancient battlefield. They should be leaving soon and heading towards the central region. After the two of them head for the central region, the southern region will be the place where Xiang Xing rises up. Heavenly punishment? How is that possible? It's impossible. How can there be heavenly punishment? The current heavenly laws simply don't have the laws of heavenly punishment. Also, instantly killing numerous deity realm experts. What's going on? Could it be that the heavenly laws of the chaos region have changed due to the Daoyuan Great Tribulation? Impossible. A region's heavenly laws... No matter how it changes, it will never leave its core. The current heavenly laws simply don't have the laws of heavenly punishment. Moreover, it doesn't have the power to display such a strong heavenly punishment. Could it be that the heavenly laws of the nine regions are going through changes again due to the Daoyuan Great Tribulation? The so-called heavenly punishment is established by the immortal race, divine race and devil race, the three great races. They are secretly controlling part of the nine regions' heavenly laws. Even when it's used to target certain races or powers to prevent them from surpassing the three great races, it's also to let the heaven's prides go through certain experiences and select the best among them. Since the changing of the previous great Tao period, the three great races have been banished from the nine regions and the heavenly punishment also disappeared from the nine regions. How did the heavenly punishment appear again? What heavenly punishment? It must be some kind of great formation. Hey you! Are you coming back to the central region? I didn't expect her to return so quickly. Hey you coming back. It must be to seek revenge with the heavenly moon house. As for the G family, there shouldn't be any grievances. The premise is that the G family did not intimidate or target Hey you. What should I do after Hey you returns? I can only wait for her to be back and then decide based on the situation. There are more devil race Dao realm experts becoming bald. Thanks to Dao friend Chu's advice. Those who become bald are even more powerful now, other than them occasionally placing their palms together and chanting Amitba. There are no other issues. This is a kind of sign, you have passed the first wave of Great Tribulation, they will recover from these remaining symptoms once the Great Tribulation is over. I see. I need to quickly open my Tao, and I need to be really strong, at the very least stronger than Motu. Otherwise, once Motu discovers something's amiss, and that those devil race Dao realm experts are not transforming into the devil race, but the Buddha race. I am afraid he will come looking for trouble. Of course there's a chance he doesn't dare to do so. The heavens Dao in the chaos region is quickly devouring the heavenly laws currently. Hey Yu has completed the arrangements and is preparing to return to the northern region. Your disciples Wang Luo and Xiang Xing suppress the newly born blood region. 
transforming their fortunes and greatly increasing their cultivation, rewarding fortune Dao Law upgrade. The region of the blood race, it can endlessly give birth to the blood race, it can even let the blood race become a true race of the nine regions. The region of the blood race, it can endlessly give birth to the blood race, it can even let the blood race become a true race of the nine regions. Feng Kong, Wang Luo, Xiang Xing, the three of them cooperated and suppressed the newly born blood region. Now that two of their fortunes have transformed, they already possess the great Dao fortune. After the two of them, Hei Yu and Su Xianer, come back, I should be able to see and find out what the great Dao fortune really represents. Ding Yu and Xiao Liang seem to be slacking a little bit recently. Is it due to the blood fiend's wisdom improving in the western region, and also the person hiding behind the scenes? The heavens Dao already penetrated into the western region's southern prefecture, but up till now, it still hasn't fully devoured it. The eastern region isn't making much progress as well. Half a month later. Your heavens Dao has devoured the heavenly laws of the southern region's central prefecture, rewarding one stage of cultivation in the Dao realm. After suppressing the newly born blood region in the southern region's central prefecture, Wang Luo and Xiang Xing have transformed their fortunes. The heavens Dao is also riding on their fortune transformation, increasing its speed of devouring the heavenly laws in the southern region's central prefecture. The southern region's central prefecture is finally a part of heavens Dao. Receive rewards. I am now in the twentieth stage of the Dao realm, only sixteen stages away from completing the full cycle. I need to devour another sixteen prefectures. Sir, we're back. Greetings, master. Nicely done. One who possesses the great Dao fortune. I understand now, someone who possesses the great Dao fortune has opened their door into the Dao realm. Obtaining the great Dao fortune is equivalent to having a key. Stepping into the Dao realm will no longer be that difficult as when you are unable to find a way through, as long as you possess the great Dao fortune, you will be able to break through into the Dao realm. Now it makes sense, why so many Dao realm experts emerged during a Dao Yuan Great Tribulation, why so many Heaven's Prides broke through into the Dao realm during a Dao Yuan Great Tribulation. The blood fiends in the central region are ferocious, one in the Dao realm has appeared, you can meet up with Wan Luo once you are there. Feng Kong is also in the Dao realm, moreover he is in the second stage. He is much stronger than those Dao realm wastrels in the central region. Ji Shinsen is not a normal person, he already possesses the strength to step into the Dao realm. For now, try not to provoke him if possible. As for what he is planning, that's not important. Ji Shinsen is not a normal person? If even the master is saying Ji Shinsen is not normal, then he is definitely not just simply a heaven's pride of the Ji family. Master, is he special in any way? It's just the reincarnation of an expert from a powerful race that has disappeared from the nine regions. Whatever he is planning, it's not important. Him reincarnating into the G family, there must be some reasons behind it. The ancestor of the G family is not just an average expert as well. Ji Shinsen is the reincarnation of an expert? Moreover, he's not an expert from the human race. No wonder he is so heaven-defying. What's his goal for reincarnating into the G family? Master, can you tell us about his origin? A half-saint from the divine race, it's the peak of the Dao realm. If you want to fight against him, or to thwart his plans, you need to catch up to his strength first. It doesn't matter what kind of intentions Ji Shinsen has, it's necessary to have someone who can go against him. Since the three great races have already left the nine regions, why are they back now? In the future, the nine regions will be my. Let's prepare some more precious treasures for Hei Yu and strengthen her foundations. Master, I am going to get ready to head towards the central region now. Go ahead. Sir, I will stay behind to accompany. With a pretty maid taking care of me, the days are so much more comfortable. Your disciple Qian Ming has stepped into the deity realm, rewarding one lump of chaos aura. Your name disciple Qian Ming has stepped into the deity realm, rewarding one lump of chaos aura. Your nephew Chu Pingfen demonstrated the might of the extreme Dao, killing blood fiends and improving his fortune, resulting in a great increase in cultivation, stepping into the heavenly realm, rewarding fortune Dao Law upgrade. As my fortune Dao Law continues to upgrade, I can vaguely detect the changes. It seems to be advancing into becoming a fortune Dao. Maybe after upgrading a few more times, it will transform into the fortune Dao. 
Although the Fortune Dao Law is upgrading in succession, I still can't see through the fortune changes of the nine regions. Central Region Qian Mountain. It's finally done. How are the arrangements going? Wang Luo. Transformation Undo. I just finished the arrangements, how about you? Undo. Already done, I just went to take a look at the side of Heiyu. I wonder how effective it will be for the next attack by the Blood Fiends. It's fine, with your 10,000 transformation rule, no matter how many Blood Fiends come, they won't be able to return. Do you want to tire me to death? Haha, <laughs> just kidding, but according to your previous performance, getting first ranked within the Heaven's Prides is just a matter of time. Don't mention it, now, I can't even lay low even if I want to, so many social interactions. Speaking about this, I have to quickly report back to the Human Alliance, otherwise it would be suspicious. At such a timing, the Blood Fiend's attacks, Qian Ming has risen up, but my demonic blood is actually... He... Where are you? He... Where are you looking at? What? We have always been together all the time. You have already witnessed my strength. If we work together, the world will definitely fall into our hands. I, I don't want to, you should disappear. What are you saying? We are of the same body and heart. If we were to only allow one person to control this body, then it should also be me who's stronger. Demonic bloodline, it's indeed hard to control. I'd better keep an eye on him. Your heavens Dao has devoured the central region's Qian prefecture, rewarding one stage of cultivation in the Dao realm. The Qian Prefecture has finally been devoured by the Heavens Dao. Based on my calculation, within the nine regions, only the ancient region hasn't been penetrated by the Heavens Dao law. Although the Heavens Dao hasn't fully formed yet, there's no rush. As long as my cultivation rises and steps into the Dao Yuan realm, with a strong foundation in my cultivation, I can slowly gather the Heavens Dao into its full form. Humph? Could it be other than the Blood Fiends? There are other great tribulations coming? Humph? What is this? Hey hey, look, the blood fiend race seems to be going through some changes. Ah, the enemies are getting stronger. This won't do, we won't be able to hold on, retreat, create some distance. The blood fiend aura created by the blood rain, is it making the blood fiend race even more berserk than before? Things have become more troublesome the blood fiend race will be even harder to fend off. The aura of the ley line is opened. Is the sacrificial Dao formation going to begin? All according to plan, the blood fiend race are being lured towards the ley line. But, is this really worth it? Sending people towards the ley lines of the southern region and forcefully activating them, luring all of the blood fiend race that are in the eastern region over. Then finally we will detonate the ley lines and destroy the majority of the blood fiend race. This is definitely a suicidal attempt. Although the people we sent are people who are near death from their longevity ending or heavy injuries, they are still an important part of the fighting force of the eastern region. Once they are gone, the eastern region will definitely suffer from a deficit of manpower. However, this is also the eastern region's only hope or else the eastern region will definitely fall under the fierce attacks of the blood fiend race. But there is another solution. What do you guys think the young lady of the Luo family will do? Will she become soft-hearted and abandon the entire plan? After all, giving up the eastern region is a way to survive. Humph, if Qining gave up on the eastern region, even if I can stay alive, I wouldn't follow her. Someone without courage like her is not worth following. Qining from the Luo family let me see how bold you are. Seniors of the eastern region, fellow warriors who did not hesitate to sacrifice yourselves and fought till the end for the eastern region. I, Qi Ning, sincerely thank everyone. This is a battle for the entire human race. I, Qi Ning, am the only one. No, in this battle, identity is not important. What's important is that we gather the strength of everyone in the eastern region and wholeheartedly fight against the enemies. No matter what the future will be, as long as we get through the Great Tribulation, I believe, I also hope all of you will believe, our eastern region will only grow stronger once again. Everyone don't have to worry about the ley lines. Once everything's over, I will definitely give them a proper burial. I might be young, but please believe in me. I will not let everyone's sacrifice go to waste. I will definitely lead the eastern region to rise once again. That's why, 
Everyone within the ley lines, please go ahead and die. Ha ha ha, I like this little fellow. The future of the eastern region will be in your hands.